the background of the study stroke is the second most common cause of death although stroke affects a large number of population worldwide the only effective therapy till date is recombinant tissue plasminogen activator and idarevon the pathophysiology of stroke is complex and oxidative stress has been shown to play a pivotal role in brain injury it is well recognized that balance between oxidant and antioxidants are disrupted during ischemia and reperfusion of blood flow which leads to neuronal damage during an ischemic attack as modern therapy offers only a limited relief in stroke antioxidant phytoconstituents are increasingly studied as an alternative to current remedies as such the present study evaluated cerebral protective effects of solasodine which is an antioxidant glycoalkaloids against global ischemia in rats as shown in the diagram male vistral albino rats were randomized to six group of eight rats different groups were sham control ischemia only ischemia and reperfusion two groups of solasodine treatment at the doses of 100 and 200 mg per kg body weight and a group treated with herbal standard antioxidants quercetin the animals were treated with solasodine or quercetin for 10 days animals from ischemia only group were decapitated right after ischemia without allowing reperfusion to evaluate the effect of ischemia on the brain experimental stroke was induced by bccao occlusion for 30 minutes that was followed by reperfusion for 60 minutes immediately after reperfusion animals were decapitated brains were removed and studied for biochemical estimations coronal sex ni histopathological analysis the institutional animal ethics committee approved the protocols from the results of our study it is evident that ischemia and ischemia reperfusion groups progressively showed elevated levels of nitric oxide and lipid peroxidation which was estimated in terms of thiobarbituric acid reactive substance interestingly these levels were significantly reduced in solasodine treated animals we also estimated the activities of endogenous antioxidant superoxide dismutase catalase gsh and total thiols it can be seen from the graph that prior treatment of solasodine enhanced the activities of these antioxidants from the results we hypothesized that solasodine by diminishing the lpo activity and augmenting endogenous antioxidant activities might have normalized the imbalance between the antioxidants and oxidants in the experimental stroke to sum up our study for the first time indicates that neuroprotective property of solasodine in part could be attributed to its antioxidant activities in experimental stroke and we greatly appreciate our enthusiastic research team and everyone who is connected to the study we welcome your suggestions as well thank you for patience listening